glorious day to you, my friends. Niarata kachikiro. Spirit wants me to talk more in English about surrender. Niarata kachikiro. Of course, there's going to be light language. Niarata kachikiro. Huusu kachikiro. Sokosha wa yototo. So we can't surrender yesterday. We can wish we had surrendered yesterday. We can't surrender tomorrow. We can plan to surrender tomorrow. We can want to surrender tomorrow. But the only time, the only place that we can surrender is now. And just like anything in the past, that's not living in the now. And the Reiki ideals talk about, you know, just for today, I shall not anger, which is to me equivalent to just for today, I shall not live in the past. <laughs> And the same thing with the future. Just for today, I shall not worry. Could be the same thing as just for today, I shall not live in the future. Or daydream. Or daydreaming occupies our, our mind. And I'm not downplaying that practice. Because daydreaming is a way that we get to realize our true authentic self. Maybe through daydreaming we can put things on our vision board. But if we spend all day daydreaming, we get nothing done. We're not really living either. Abraham Hicks talks about manifestation. And once you tell the universe, Abraham Hicks talks about forget about it. <laughs> That's not attachment. And attachment is the crown chakra blocker. So if we keep planning on manifesting the same thing, we're just keeping it away from us. Because we're keeping our mind and our ego occupied. The question is, is our vibra vibration high? Are we in our joy while we're doing it? Cool. Continue to do it. But that's not the point of this surrender. The goal to surrender or trying to surrender has the opposite effect. The goal to surrender is an egoic thing. It's planning to do it for the future. Or wanting to do it in the future. Or that's not in the now. When we fully surrender, we don't really know that we surrender because we're in the zone. We're doing what is necessary to be done in this now. If you signed up for a class, why not pay attention during the class? That's surrendering to the class. Instead of texting a friend or making the list, our, our grocery list, or plan on what you're going to do after class. Same thing with work. Or the same thing when you're having a conversation with a friend. Are you paying attention? To the friend, engaging in conversation, having a good time, or are you, is your mind wandering and is your mind elsewhere? It's the same thing with any 
task. And Sadhguru, when I looked up surrender to try to get a little more seeds, he described being in prison. And the only way out is through a filthy gutter, he called it, which is the sewage pipe. You know, are you willing to crawl through that sewage pipe to do what's necessary in that now to obtain your freedom? So, or are you going to say, oh no, I'm not going to walk through that filth because that's beneath me. That's a judgmental mind. That's not surrendering to this now. And what needs to be done. Every now is different. And we don't think it. Great athletes don't think it. They just do it. They react. They train so they can build a muscle memory to react properly or act properly, be proactive to perform in the moment when that moment arises. They don't think, they just do. What is this now? What is this now bringing you? What are you experiencing in this now? When I'm on my yoga mat, I am breathing. There's plenty of times when I'm on my mat that I might be thinking about other things. But then I'm going, hey, I'm not getting the benefit of being on my mat. So then I return my awareness to my breath to the pose, to what the instructor is saying. So huta kurwara. Chihiro tokanini. And soon I'm not thinking of anything except breathing, except the pose. Can I get more out of the pose? Can I ease into the pose? Can I have smooth movement to the next pose? Can I do it in control? Can I be aware of my muscles while I'm transitioning? Can I be aware of my body, my body position? Without overthinking it. It's just occupying my mind, breathing, in that moment, being in the now is surrendering that grocery list. Surrendering what you could be doing after. Because surrender does not exist outside of this moment. Nothing exists outside of this moment. Your dinner with a friend that's going to happen after class or after work, is going to happen after work. Set it up. Yep. Agree on a date and a time and, and a place. And then just... Go there. In that moment. Fill this moment with anything else, is what Abraham Hicks says. Pick up any other magic wand that's going to keep you in your joy. And another one of the Reiki ideals. Just for today, I shall dedicate myself to my work. Focus in the now. Can you surrender everything else? To fully experience this now. That's where the divine flow is now. 
And when our mind is on tomorrow, or our mind is on yesterday, that's too many minds. We have one mind. Why not bring it into the now? We have this negative connotation on surrender and what it means. All it really means is to be fully present. So you can fully experience what's here and what's now. Hariatata, <laughs> Nisa ataka te kere koroho. Kasa hanana na te kata kati iroto. Utu tu kurushka huasi sahi aratoku. Hasa ana ha te kari te kata kartu. Shuhu so oro to kata kartani. Saha te kata kirita. Kutu to ka si harata tanana iskonano oro hokoto. Iskona na ariyaraka.